On this date, 40 years ago, President Richard Nixon announced the start of the war on drugs. Today, after more than $1 trillion and hundreds of thousands of deaths, the war goes on and no one is declaring victory. It was one of the most bizarre photo ops of a generation. On December 21st, 1970, Elvis Presley paid a visit to the White House after handwriting a letter to President Nixon offering his assistance in trying to stop the drug epidemic in this country. Just six months later, the president declared war. We must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. While President Carter unsuccessfully attempted to change the drug law. I support a change in law in federal criminal penalties for possession of up to one ounce of marijuana. Under Ronald Reagan, the war on drugs entered a new phase. We're taking down the surrender flag that has flown over so many drug efforts. We're running up a battle flag. We can fight the drug problem and we can win. First Lady Nancy Reagan also joined the fight. School without drugs will assist parents and educators and neighbors and community leaders in helping their children to just say no. And the most iconic PSA emerged from the campaign. Last time. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. President George H.W. Bush came up with a complex plan and saw some results. In the span of this administration, we've seen drug use go down. Overall drug use decreased by more than 12% between 1988 and 1991. While some progress was made, over the next decade, ground was lost. We had made tremendous strides in cutting, cutting drug use. This cannot be said today. As early as 2004, then-State Senator Barack Obama declared the war on drugs an utter failure. President Obama and his entire administration agree that the war on drugs um, is not a useful met metaphor. But the other thing that they all agree on is that there are tools available to reduce, not eliminate, we can't cure drug use, but we can do far better. 